Basic items you have around the house could be hazardous to your pets. And since this is National Animal Poison Prevention Week, we wanted to bring in Anna Crispin from Michigan Humane to learn about keeping your pets safe. And of course, you also have a new adorable pet that needs a home. And our sponsor, the Mike Morris Law Firm, will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet. Who do you have with you? She's feisty. She is a little <laughs> on the feisty side. She lives up to her name, so everybody, her name is Xena Warrior Princess, um, and she is definitely all about like being your large and in-charge cat. So she oh. is super active and energetic. Um, got a little overwhelmed when we first walked into the studio today, um, but she is really, really sweet and lovely, loves to play. So if you're looking for a cat that wants like playtime, interaction, toys, you know, chase the laser pointer, all of those things, Xena is definitely your gal. Alrighty, so what kind of home would be a good match for Xena? So Xena is definitely looking for a home, again, that's gonna provide her with lots of outlets for her energy. She does really enjoy being an active cat. She also likes to cuddle, as you can see. You know, yes. when she gets calm and comfy, she really enjoys the chance to spend time with folks. Um, she doesn't have a history with other animals or with children that we're aware of, so if you do have kids in the house, we would love to have you come down with them um, so you can meet Xena and make sure that she is going to be a good fit for the whole family. Okay, all right, now let's get into the serious part. So what kind of household items may be dangerous for our pets? Like, we need to be aware of this. So Tati, it's a great rule of thumb when we're talking about um, preventing poisoning with your pets is actually think of it as though you're pet, pr like toddler proofing the mm. house, right? Um, chemicals, cleaners, gardening and lawn care products, all of those things can pose a super high risk of poisoning and toxicity to your pet. So we always want to encourage folks, keep them away, keep them out of reach, keep them locked away if possible, especially if you've got a smart pup or a smart mm -hmm. cat at the house that can get into cupboards. Um, you want to watch out for symptoms of poisoning, such as vomiting, if they're not able to stand, if they're tremoring a lot. Any of those things are happening, give a call to the ASPCA Animal Poison Control Line or and a call to an emergency vet is also a great idea. Um, but it's one of those situations where prevention is way, way better than trying to treat, for yeah, sure. That's true, that's true. All right, time to think about all these things. Anna, thank you so much. Great information and great <laughs> tips for us, as always. Zena, you okay? She looks like she's calmed down quite. I know, she's just like, this is fine. That's good, that's good. <laughs> And remember, everyone, the Mike Morse Law Firm will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the week, little Zena here. And the Mike Morse Law Firm wants to help you if you need legal help. Visit their website, 855mikewins.com, or call the same, 855 Mike Wins, to find out if you have a case.